Hey you guys, today is a chill day and I wanted to make something pretty simple and easy for lunch. So we are making my own variation of my mom's tuna salad recipe. And since my mom is English and it reminded me of her, I'm going to pair my lunch with some black tea. My mom's favorite tea is Earl Grey, but today I felt like using the tea my friends got me for my birthday. I'm sure you all know how to make tea, so I just wanted to take a second to say how thankful I am for all the new friends I made this year and the support I've received on this channel, as well as my Twitch channel. It really has made 2020 much more bearable. I know many of you are struggling right now, so I hope this video can give you a little peace and joy. Okay, back to the tea. My water has finished boiling, so I'm going to pour it in my teapot. Or spill it on my teapot. Now that it's full, we can put on the lid and leave it to brew while we work on our tuna salad. Here are all the things you will need. You'll want some sweet relish, mustard, yellow mustard is fine if you don't have Dijon, mayonnaise, black pepper, dash seasoning or something similar like an Italian spice blend, garlic powder, and two cans of albacore tuna. Make sure it's albacore because something like skipjack is a bit too dry and fishy. If you don't have some of these spices, it's okay to experiment with your own. I think the main staples are the mayo, relish, and pepper which are pretty accessible. I didn't have any, but I recommend some paprika as well if you like it. So let's start by emptying the tuna into a bowl and breaking it up into smaller pieces. We don't want any big chunks of tuna that aren't seasoned. Now that it's broken up, we can add in the mayo. How much you add is really up to you, but I recommend not adding too much or it becomes a bit too wet. I do about a heaping spoonful per can of tuna. Next up is the mustard. I only use a little bit of this, but I suggest putting in a bit more if you're using regular yellow mustard instead of Dijon. Now we have the sweet relish. I put in a hefty spoonful of this since it will be offsetting the fishiness of the tuna. I add in some diced cucumber or red onion sometimes too if I have it on me and it adds great flavor and crunch. So with the spices, I really just eyeball it like my mom does. I swear I just don't measure things. Maybe add less at first, so after you mix everything later, you can taste it and then add in a bit more of a certain spice if you think you need it. All right, we are just finishing up with the black pepper and then our final step is to mix. I really love this recipe. I've had it since I was a kid and it never fails me. An added bonus is that it's made in one bowl, so you only have one dish to clean. This is what your final result should look like. Recently, I've been pairing the tuna salad with these crackers that I found at Trader Joe's. They are super good and really complement the tuna. We have fig olive and raisin rosemary. You could also make a sandwich with it, top some green salads with it, or just eat it on its own. 
So I will be putting these crackers on a plate for ease of access since I will be sharing them with my boyfriend later. Let's get these on the table and finish making our tea from earlier. For sweetener, I used a few drops of liquid stevia. Stevia is a zero calorie sweetener. I'm also adding in some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. Finally, it's time to pour our tea. Give it a mix and we are ready to go. I apologize in advance for my goofball of a boyfriend. I told him to give me a normal reaction and this is what he came up with. Holy shit! You did this! <laughs> wow, he's <Zoe! laughs> Okay, really. It's incredible, isn't it? I will try. There's a plate. There's a plate? Yeah. Mmm, that's good. <laughs> Gotta get a three to one ratio. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm, -hmm. mm. Okay. It's frozen. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What I like about it is that the tuna comes through the entire time and it's just it's a real tuna flavor that's there the whole time and yet it's not fishy because the sweetness is just right mm -hmm. it's sweet the whole way through it's like sweet tuna i mean like mm -hmm. i know that's obviously what it is but neither one of them competes good so this is a rosemary raisin and this is fig olive oh different ones i like the fig olive better okay i'll have a little bit less of the tuna this time Mm-hmm. The fig olive adds a whole other dimension of like savory to it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Okay. So the fig olive actually competes with the tuna. Really? I like it. Oh, I like it too. But this is no longer the um star of the show, it's a co-star to the cracker now. Okay. But it's all delicious and I would eat the whole thing right now. <laughs> if you left the room for some reason. <laughs> You would not see this again. Taking that away. <laughs> okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you have a lovely holiday season and a happy new year. Don't forget to like and subscribe and keep an eye out for new videos. See you later.